Everyone agrees that the Scottish health system is a precious resource, and many other countries envy what we can deliver for the money we invest. However, this doesn't mean that we shouldn't challenge the status quo and continue to look for innovative and progressive solutions to our healthcare challenges. The NHS in Scotland, despite what some may believe, has changed dramatically since its inception with improved diagnosis, treatment and patient outcomes. Yet we are not without our challenges, some of which remain unresolved or only partially resolved, including equity of access to healthcare services across all demographics, equality of health outcomes particularly in areas of social and economic deprivation, and multiple public health issues including the current drug deaths crisis. And as people live for longer often with multiple health conditions, which is to be celebrated, all Western health systems face the challenges of treating complex illnesses, and caring for more people with health problems in general. I believe that Scotland should be open to examining options for meeting these challenges from healthcare systems in other countries, as well as being in a position to share our own best practice. Read more. Helen McArdle, Why the A&E Crisis is About GP Shortages as Much as Consultant and Bed Numbers As our NHS tackles these challenges, we will need to continue designing and developing sustainable solutions backed by best practice. Innovation in healthcare must be targeted to meet the needs of the population in Scotland, and we must plan for the future rather than rely on short-term solutions to the challenges we face. It is vital that the undoubted excellence in our medical schools and universities in Scotland is fully harnessed to achieve this. The College wants to work with the Scottish Government to ensure that initiatives which are currently being pursued in the NHS have strong evidence to support them, are thoroughly evaluated for outcome, and will lead to solid and sustainable improvements in the long term. The governance structures in the NHS in Scotland must be reinforced and maintained and the NHS must also be willing and able to adopt new technologies. Ensuring the future sustainability of the NHS cannot be achieved by simply doing what we have always done in the past. Scotland has a proud track record of influencing public behaviour and attitudes in many areas of public health, taking action on smoking and alcohol-related harm for example. But we continue to have public health challenges in Scotland, including a high rate of drug deaths. Tackling drug abuse will be a major focus for the next decade and requires a holistic, whole systems approach. Read more, Nicola Sturgeon, NHS waiting times not good enough. The debate on public health must be depoliticized. We must simultaneously find a W for more on this story, visit the news article link.